Monday, guys. I have way too much energy and way too excitement for a Monday, but I love Mondays. So Mondays are one of my, actually, I'd say my favorite day. It's like a restart to everything. Um, and I just love it. So I am drinking my coffee and I love my cup. It says, you say witch like it's a bad thing. Again, if y'all know my personality, y'all know, you know. Um, this is the coffee that I make all the time, guys. I'm down in, no. I'm down another pound with this this week, so I'm pretty excited about that. And today's flavor, I have a sugar cookie latte, ice latte. It's like, it's amazing. Do you want to say hi? Munchkin sitting right here. I'm sitting down to do my schedule, so I figure I'd walk y'all through. She's sitting down. She is coloring in her journal. So I figured I would walk y'all through this, um, the very easy scheduling system that I do. Um... Yeah, so we're just gonna jump in because we're just gonna jump in. So the first thing that I do, so this is a three-step foolproof scheduling system. I call it my mock schedule. Um, I think I coined that. I don't think anybody else has that, but I don't know. It may have been so. Not taking credit if it's not mine. The very first thing I do, and I, you can use a notebook for this. You can use a planner. Um, I have a work notebook that I have set up, so it's already in place for me. The first thing I do is I just write down what are all the things I need to get done this week. And typically these are not things that I do daily. So like working out, I'm not putting that on my weekly schedule because I do that daily. And we're going to talk about that in a minute. So I'm going to write down all the things that I need to get done this week. So first thing I'm checking is my schedule from last week. What are all the things I needed to get done last week? Because chances are, there's gonna be something on there that you did not get done this week, right? Um, and there's gonna be a few things that I need to do every single day, or every single week, I mean, so they're also getting put on this list. So I needed to send out our Halloween invites for our Halloween party coming up. I got those sent out, so that has a check mark. I needed to give myself a manicure. Boom, I use gel nails. I have like the salon set in my house, so got that done. I needed to give myself a pedicure. Didn't get that done. I ended up, I don't remember what I did instead, but I didn't do it. So I'm going to write down pedicure because that is something that I want to get done this week, right? Um, a couple things for work that I checked off. I needed to write out my menu and order groceries. We have groceries delivered. If you've not tried the delivery, y'all, it's a lifesaver. So I'm writing down groceries and menu because, again, it's something I do every single week and I know that. A um, couple other things for work. Boom. So first step of step one, I guess, looking at last week's schedule and seeing what did I not get done that I need to get done. So, so far I have down pedicure, groceries, and menu. Pretty light schedule, right? Um, then I'm going to check my calendar for right now. Like what's going on? Now my calendar is up on the fridge. So what I do if I'm going to sit down and have a planning session is I'm just going to write it down or I'm gonna take a picture of it, I mean, so I can just pull it up on my phone. So I can see the things we have coming up. So tomorrow I have my cleaning lady coming. I don't need to do anything for that. But I am gonna write it down because while she's here doing the deep cleaning, I'm going to be cleaning and organizing my office and cleaning and organizing my garage because they need done. Like my office is overran with curriculum right now. It has crap everywhere. That's why I'm working at the kitchen table currently. And I need to order a new table. And I don't think I'm, gonna, I'm not going to go shopping for a table this week. But I can clean it and organize it. Mm -hmm. um, Thursday, I'm going shopping with a friend. So I'm just going to write that down as a little note on my weekly to-do. It's not really a to-do, but it's just reminding me. So when I get to step three, I know Thursday I'm carving out some shopping time in the evening. And then during the day, I have one of my local teammates coming over. And she's going to sit and do some work and some training. And her daughter's going to come over and play with my daughter. So it's going to be a work slash play date. So again, I'm just writing it down. So when I'm writing out my step three and actually putting my time slots in, I know, okay, on Thursday, I need to block these times out. The other thing that's not this week, but it's on the 17th. So not this Saturday, but next Saturday is our Halloween party. So I've already went shopping for all the party favors. I did that two weeks ago. Um, I have the menu roughly in my head, 
But what I need to do is I need to fine tooth the menu. So I'm gonna put that down here because it's something I need to get done. I don't like doing things last minute. So we're gonna get this done right now. So I just need to fine tooth the menu and just decide, okay, what am I gonna have food wise? And I like to do like themed foods. So it's gonna be fun Halloween themed uh, finger foods for kids. Um, my daughter, super excited. And then I also need to just write a list of which what games are we playing. Again, I know we want to set it up like carnival style kind of. Um, and just like different rooms have different games. So I'm writing down. And that way, all I'm doing this week is I'm going to make a list of the foods and the games. Get everything written out on paper. And then a list of materials I need to buy or order. So then next Monday, I can, well, when I order groceries, more than likely is when I'll order all this stuff. I can sit down and order everything. So it should be here by Tuesday or Wednesday. Parties on Saturday. No stress. I do not like stress. So I like to do things well in advance. So I've got a few things written down. And then the next thing. So step one is writing down what do you need to do for the week. Step two is writing down. And I don't do this as much anymore. But if you're new to scheduling, I would write this down. So step two is writing down what do I do daily. So every single day, these are things that I do. So I know when I'm writing out my schedule, I'm going to make sure I plug these things in. So let me, now what I do for that is I just look at my last week's schedule and kind of look and see, okay, what are the things I do daily? Um, I do my 45 minute cleaning, which is the typical like vacuum, straighten things, uh, switch a load of laundry. So fold one, put it away, start a new one run a load of dishes, wipe off counters, that kind of stuff. Um, I know I work out pretty much every day. Obviously, I take a shower every day. Um, I do my journaling slash devotions every day. Glory to school every day. We homeschool, so that's a daily thing. Glory, this is the last time I'm going to tell you, okay? We had this conversation yesterday on the video. You don't talk and interrupt when mom's talking. She's not getting it, so she may have to go to her room in a minute until I'm done. So that's your only warning. Um, work at home life, guys. Work at home life. Um, let's see. I do leadership Zooms with my team twice a day. So those are on the daily. And obviously the weekend's a little different, but those are on the daily. Um, that's pretty much the daily. I don't think I missed anything. One of y'all are probably like, oh, you don't do this? Um you're, you know, I probably missed something, but that's the daily. Now, the only, the only other thing I have that is like on my weekly slash daily, obviously I cook. Um, so Monday I prep breakfast for the entire week for the three of us. We all three have different dietary restrictions we follow. Tuesday, I prep half a week's worth of dinners because we don't like eating the same thing every day. Wednesday, I prep the other half a week. Um, what I do is I basically cook dinner and make enough for four extra servings for my husband to use as lunch. Uh, Thursday, I prep my dinner for the next seven days because he does a low-fat, high-carb, high-protein diet. Moderate carb probably, but high. I do a low-carb, high-fat. I don't do keto, but with PCOS, I do have to watch my carbs. I, I just don't process them well, I guess. Um, and fats keep me full and give me a lot of energy. So we are separate restrictions. And then my daughter, just we do clean eating with her. So a little bit of both of our lifestyles with her, I guess. Um... So Thursday, I prep my meals for seven days because I don't mind eating the same thing every day. It doesn't matter to me. And then we're doing, I'm doing fasole, healthy fasole this week, so I'm excited. I might actually switch it and start prepping that today because it's just a crock pot one. And then like I have a week's worth of fasole. Um, and then Friday, I prep our snacks for the next seven days. So I always have a seven day rotation going where we always have breakfast, lunch, and dinner and snack in the fridge and we just pop them out and heat them up and eat them when we're ready to eat them. So that's a daily thing, but it changes slightly. So cooking, I guess, would be on that. So step one, write out your weekly schedule or your weekly to do. Step two, write down your daily. Step three is the hard part, but really it's not. It's writing it out in a schedule. So I'm going to show you last week's, for example. Um, now we do get up between three and three thirty. We go to bed at 8, so nobody freak out when I read you this. This is just an example. Um, but what I do is I write down Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So right now, I'm setting my schedule for the next seven days. Now, it's called a mock schedule because it can change. This is our tentative schedule for the week. 
If you have kids, same thing. Write them out a tentative schedule. My daughter has a schedule, seven days at a time. This is how I get so much stuff done, y'all. I promise you it is doable with a kid or with kids. And I usually don't just have her. We usually have other kids here. So no one come at me like you only have one kid. Yes, but multiple days a week we have three, four, and five kids. So it's not like a one kid only all the time. Um, so from 3.30 to 10 is me working. Now, just to preface this, insert income disclosure statement here. I advertise on social media. That's my job. So I like to get all my work done pretty much before we do anything else because then I'm just stress-free and do whatever I want the rest of the day. Now, normal people, you don't, you're not working the job that much. <laughs> I am really pushing to get up to a really big promotion. I'm talking like multiple six figures in this company um, because we have a lot of things on our dream board that we're checking off helping other people do. So that takes money when you are talking about funding organizations. So I'm working my butt off and I work a lot of hours compared to a lot of people in this business. So no one freak out if you've talked to me about joining with this, you're not working five, six, seven hours a, week, a day on this unless you are looking to make like big, big, big money. Then yes, you're going to work full time if you want to be paid really, really well. Um, so news, all that to say, so 3.30 to 10, I typically clean or I typically work 10 to 11 is my cleaning block. It only takes 45 minutes. I give myself an hour. 11 to 11.45 is my workout. 11.45 is when I shower and get ready, y'all. I do like a quick get ready, little bit of makeup. Like it doesn't take me an hour. I schedule about 30 minutes for that. 12.15 is journaling. So my journaling and devotional block is about 90 minutes. Usually I like to just spend 90 minutes worshiping and talking to Jesus and all that good stuff. 1.45 to five is when we do fun school. Now from 3.30 to 10 when I'm working, from five, five is when my daughter gets up. Um, she sits here, she'll do phonics, spelling, math, part of her journaling and handwriting because she can do all those pretty much by herself. She'll ask me a few questions, but that's like the routine stuff that she does every single day. I don't have to be there and like, you know, through the whole thing. And she'll do like one subject and then she'll play. She'll do a subject, she'll do her arts and crafts. She'll do a subject, she'll go do her responsibilities. She'll do a subject, she'll go take a bath. So it's very leisurely paced, but those are the five subjects we, we typically get done. If she sat and just did them, it would take her 90 minutes. But the way we, you know, five hours later, we're done with the last subject because we're just leisurely. Like it's not a school day. She's just doing them as she's doing other things. Um, so from 145 to 5, that's when we're doing like the really cool history projects or science stuff that I'm like 100% my phone's down. I'm not doing anything else. It's just her one-on-one -on -one time. Reading stories. Sometimes we'll make arts and crafts together. Like it's fun school. Um, Spanish is another one we throw in there. And then 5 o'clock is when I make dinner, which is basically prep whatever I am for that day. 530, 545 is when we're ready to sit down and eat. Now, if my husband gets home late, dinner sits, I will sit and work or do something, she'll play. Um, you know, we typically try to eat at six, she goes to bed at 6.30, we go to bed at 8, 8.30. There are nights he gets home too late, her and I eat together, she goes to bed, he'll eat when he gets home as I'm sitting here finishing up work because from the last two hours of the day, I typically do try to get on and do a little bit more work, I'm just answering emails Checking in with new people that have signed up to do this, making sure they're actually knowing what they're doing, helping them make money, that kind of stuff. So that's a mock schedule. That's like a typical day. So what I do is I say, okay, I know I need to give myself a pedicure. What day like would that fit in the best? And I just write the day beside it. And then when I plug it in, I put it in on that day. Menu and groceries. We always menu and order groceries on Friday to get them delivered either Sunday or Monday. Um, just so it's done and out of the way. I know the garage and the office is going to be on Tuesday. So Tuesday, we're probably going to have a much lighter. We may not do school at all on Tuesday, actually. Like the routine stuff in the morning we'll do. But then the afternoon block, we probably won't do because we're going to be doing a lot of cleaning. Thursday, shopping and play date. Same thing. Probably not doing that afternoon block because the girls are going to sit here and do arts and crafts while the moms sit here and work. And that's going to be our afternoon school day. And then we're going to go shopping. Um, fine-toothing the menu and carnival games. 
I'm not sure when I'm putting that in. That's going to happen when I'm writing out my schedule. I'm like, oh, there's a block of time here that doesn't have anything yet. This would be a good to put, fit X, Y, Z in. So by the end of the next 45 minutes, I will have my schedule made for today, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then at the end of every day, I'm going to go look at that schedule for the next day and be like, okay, is there anything that I need to change? Because I can. It's my schedule. I run my time. My time doesn't run me. So let's say, for example, we'll, we'll just use today. Let's say I'm dressed. I've done my workout. I've done my work. Um, we're doing school. And someone shows up at the door and needs help with something. We'll just say a friend shows up. I drop everything and I go help them. So then... The next day, I might say, okay, we need to spend a little bit more time on this subject because we didn't get it done. Or, you know, I have scheduled to do this. It's not that important. That's what happened last week with my pedicure block. I had two hours for a pedicure. I was like, I want to do it, but it's not that important. And we didn't do this on this day because this happened. So we're just going to put that in this block. So it's a mock schedule, guys. You don't have to like stress if you don't get it done. You just, it gives you an overlook of everything you want to get done that week. And then you can kind of go from there. So I hope that helped. I know scheduling is the hardest thing as a mom, I feel like, to get down and really own your time. So yeah, hope it helped. You want to say bye? All right, come here. The monkey wants to say bye. And then I will talk to y'all later. Bye. Bye. All right. She's reading her book. Reading her book. She's looking at lots of pictures. Your live book. <laughs> I'm pretending oh, she's live on my book. She's pretending that she's live and she's doing a video, but using her book as an iPad, I think. So, yeah. have fun. All right, bye, guys. Yeah.